Hi guys, it's Mina. Welcome back. Um, I had an idea today and I've really been wanting to play with it. So that's what we're going to do today. Um, this is a 24 by 48 inch canvas or 60.9 centimeters by 121.9 centimeters. Uh, to fill this size canvas, we need approximately 42 ounces of paint. So I asked and you guys delivered. So many of you were so kind and so nice and answered my question about what the 28 in the formula is. So the formula is length times width divided by 28. So length, width, so in this case 24, I'm sorry, 24 by 48. <laughs> and then you divide it by 28 and you come up with 41 point something something ounces. So 42 ounces basically. So where does the 28 come in? The 28 is... There are 28 grams in one ounce. So to get your square inches per ounce, you got to divide grams into ounces. So that's what the 28 is, which is woohoo. That's awesome. So let's go ahead and get started. I'll tell you my colors real fast. I have here Golden's Payne's Gray, which I love this color. And I have amazing ideas and things that are coming up with that right now. This is DecoArt America. No, DecoArt. Extreme Sheen in Pink Tourmaline. This one is for you, Miss Snow. <laughs> she was saying Pink Tourmaline over and over and over. It was so funny. Okay, so this one is Golden's Permanent Deep Violet. Such a beautiful color. It's gorgeous. My paint is all leaving a mound on a mound on a mound. This one is DecoArt Americana Decor Metallics in Silver. Leaving a mound on a mound on a mound. Okay. Ah, the jackhammers are here. Yay. Okay. This is DecoArt Americana Decor Metallics in 24 karat gold. And the star of the show today, Golden's Iridescent Copper Fine. Just an amazing color. And I have this idea that I'm very, very excited about. So I saw Dirty Artist mixing pink tourmaline with some, some of the 24 karat gold, and it gave me an idea. So I'm going to lay down a base coat of the 24 karat gold and I'm going to put some pink tourmaline on top of that and then I'm going to do the rest of my pour. So actually you know what let's get our cup ready first and then maybe we'll just do those layers as flow extenders. So for to get 42 ounces of paint this is 16 ounces so 16, 32 and then we need 10 more. So two and a half of these. All right so first thing we're going to put in there is some of the Payne's Gray. Um, I'm kind of going to do a fantasy pour. I am going to do a fantasy pour with this one again. So the colors in my cup are not going to include the pink because that's going to be in the base coat. So I have the copper, then I want some, uh, now I want my copper on top of the paint gray. Then I'm going to put some gold in. Then a little bit of silver. Then we're going to put some more Payne's Gray in. I'm going to go back to that lovely, luscious, delicious copper. So amazing when the light hits it. That's phenomenal. Um, okay, we're going to go back to some more gold now. So there's our first 16 ounces. I'm gonna keep going because there's still a little bit of room in here. I'm gonna put some more silver in. And now at the very end, I'm gonna put some of that violet in because I do want it around the outside. I'm not sure if I want it in the middle and this is gonna be a great way for us to tell how it's gonna look inside the middle or in, on the canvas with all these other colors. Okay, so I'm gonna do a fantasy pour kind of across in sort of waves. So we're going to start over here, hopefully my shadow will... That's pretty cool. I'm not crazy about the violet with all of this, so maybe I'll use that as part of the base coat also. 
So we're gonna go start again with our paint spray. Okay, I'm gonna put a little bit of paint right around here. All right, so this one, we're gonna pour this one in the middle. I'm gonna kinda do a straight pour. That's pretty cool. Okay, do the same thing. Kind of bigger layers this time. Okay, we're gonna do another one like that, sort of, but I'm gonna stand this way this time. So now the weird thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to mix what's left of my silver and my gold and see if we can't get any more out of copper either. And then I'm going to pour the pink tourmaline in there. And that's going to be my flow extender. I'm just going to go around all of this. A little bit of pain's left in here. I'm just going to go around this edge on this side. So this is the pink tourmaline and gold and a little bit of silver and just a tiny dash of copper in there. I'm using it as a base coat because I want it to come up. See over here, now the purple looks pretty. It's a violet. So the paint has something to slide on, that's crazy. All right, let's see. Maybe I do want to put a little bit of the violet around the edge. It might get tilted off, but that's okay. Because it's close to the center, it'll probably stay a little bit on there. Okay, so that's really cool. That's cool. I like that also. So let's see what happens. Not my usual branded canvas. I usually use the artist block ones from Michaels. I'm noticing that this one is kind of saggy in the middle. It's not so good. that so we're going to see if we can't take this stuff down keep that center part intact I don't like the pink showing. I'm gonna take it off.
Oh my goodness, this is so cool. Copper, it looks like it's on fire. And I love these little cells over here along the edges. Here. We had some over there, but I sacrificed them to get some of the paint off. Because this side canvas seems to be slightly saggy. I'm not happy about it. Let's go back a bit some water, get it to tighten up a bit. Let's torch it. pretty cool <laughs> it's a little bit out there but it's really really cool like these edges over here where these little cells are popping up you can see it in my shadow just beautiful but it's so pretty in the sun especially with all that gold coming up and then the copper is like very 3d and iridescent especially on top of that Payne's gray is really beautiful and there's a little bit of silver coming up in here and over here, there's some of the pink tourmaline, or the violet, I guess, mixed with the silver and gold. Really cool, though. And then over in this area, there's like a, it's like a light blue color from the Payne's Gray and the silver combined. And then there's like this very thin veil of copper on top of that, like a lacing. And through that is coming up these little cells and like silver and just beautiful. There's like purple and pink and Payne's Gray inside each little cell. Very cool. I love these little ones. This is just, I love that. Yeah, it makes me crazy, like this sort of undulating wave and it's more around the edges. It's sort of this glowing neon pink, which is kind of awesome, I have to say. <laughs> it's not gonna stretch anymore over there, but that's okay. I like this a lot. I'm very happy with how that looks. I think that copper is amazing. And I think when this dries, it's gonna be really, really, so, okay, I'm going to take the camera down and take some close-ups for you guys, and then I will show you when it's dry. Okay, so this is a few days later. This is the dried piece. This is just beautiful color. You can see that amazing copper glinting in the sun. Just really, really beautiful. I love how that pink tourmaline mixed with the copper in certain places. So you can see here, I added some gold accents <laughs> with some goldens, uh, gold, it's the fluid acrylics in the gold deep fine but look at these little pink cells they're pink tourmaline so pretty and up here just beautiful i love that like pink cast that's kind of at the back of the canvas that you just barely see it around the edges but very pretty beautiful cells in here that copper is just so this one I think one of my colors was a little bit thin and it uh, threw everything off and that's why I ended up tilting it so much because the paint was thin and it was just it was sliding all over the place so I did get this blending like in here you can see where the copper is a lot more blended which is beautiful 
So I am going to do this one again <laughs> because I was watching the video and I really like how it looked before it got all blended up. So I do want some of those more solid lines. So we are going to do this one again for sure. But I like how this turned out. I think it's really, really cool. And it's very warm, especially with the pink in the background. I just love these little, little tiny cells up here. It's so cute. So pretty. I'm trying to focus. Maybe if I put my glasses on. <laughs> okay, anyways. You can see that gold, the golden's gold. You see how blingy it is. So I really like that one. I like to use it as an accent like this, especially when the other golds are in the painting too, because it just really it just adds another layer. So I think this one turned out really cool. It wasn't exactly what I wanted because like I said, something was thin and caused everything else to be too thin. <laughs> this is why your consistency is so important. You know, just that one Oh, I need a little bit more water at the last second and it throws off all your consistency and then everything's sloshing around and too thin. So, but you get this more interesting blended effect, which is still very cool. This one is sort of like cave painting almost with that, that brownish sort of tone. Very cool. I almost see like a horse right there in the middle. <laughs> anyway, this one was really cool. I hope you guys enjoyed this and, uh, you know, I want to encourage you all to, to go out and if you have big canvases, use them. Don't be intimidated by it. It's just like any other canvas. Just go slow. Be prepared and you'll be fine. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. And uh, I will see you next time. Have a beautiful day. Bye.